Hi guys, today we're in Turangi, uh, home of the Tongariro Hydro Power Development Scheme. Um, tribute behind me, you can see them, to the tunnellers who tunnelled uh, 44 kilometres, took them 13 years. Turangi's other claim to fame is that it calls itself the trout capital of the world, but we're not going trout fishing today. It's also the start of the central plateau and we're going to head down the desert road and see if we can find some walks to do and some sights to show you. Okay, we're at the start of the desert road. It's um, about as much desert as you get in New Zealand. A lot of scrub and not a lot else really. So we've turned off the desert road. Uh, we're looking at doing a walk down to the Pillars of Hercules. Um, not quite sure what the pillars are, whether there are mountains or rocks. Uh, but there's a big suspension bridge down the bottom that looks quite cool. Come about 500 metres along the track and it was a bit narrow and we found a clearing decided to leave the ute there and walk the rest of the way uh, should take about 40 minutes or so not quite sure what the track um, has in store for us down a bit or whether we'll be able to turn around so we thought best to leave the ute here lots of deer tracks around so uh, maybe we might even glimpse a deer going across the path Well, the gunshots were a little unnerving, but we've carried on for about 40 minutes down the four-wheel drive track. Um, I wouldn't bring your four-wheel drive too far, and you should have had a really gnarly four-wheel drive. Uh, it's a bit rugged, and there's not really a lot of places to turn around. Uh, but we can hear the water now, and we should get our first glimpse of the swing bridge shortly. Trout rivers.
energetic. Going back is going to be a bitch. It's going all uphill, back to the desert road, um, back across the bridge, and we, it's too cloudy to see the Pillars of Hercules, but um, we'll, we'll see you when we get through a bit further, and hopefully we don't get shot at going back up, because there's people hunting the other side, and lots of deer tracks around. And we just found out that we could have driven in from this side instead of walking four kilometres downhill. And now we're going to work four kilometres uphill. Joy, joy. Uh, One uh, hill. <laughs> Five more to go. Or ten more. Or twenty more. A lot. And about four cats. Driving down the desert road we saw the turn off to the Turquino ski field and we thought we'd come for a drive and see what was here. Um, so at the moment we're going along the supposedly two wheel drive track to the first car park. Um, of course there's no snow because it's, uh, oh, it's gone down to 14 degrees Celsius outside but um, I don't think we'll be getting any snow now. Yep, there's the end of the two wheel drive car park. Um, yeah I wouldn't be bringing the Camry up here. The mighty Isuzu is going to have a go at the hill. It's a bit of windy up here. Just talked to some people who are off on a tramp into one of the huts. Got a two hour tramp. The weather forecast is not the best for the night, so they might have a bit of a rough night. Gonna have a bit of a look around and we'll be on our way again.
as you saw from the signs coming in, um, Desert Road's pretty much a training area for the army. There's a big army base at Wairu Army Training Facility. Uh, looks like they're blowing something up down there as a training exercise. Glad it wasn't us. See the desert road, there's a track going along. Yeah, we made it to Wairu, we're at the National Army Museum. Um, they said there's a big training, army training facility here at Wairu. Um, um, quite a good museum, we're not going to go in today, but even just wandering around the car park is quite interesting. Uh, it's a great one for the kids if you're coming down this way. So we've come about 8 k's from Wairu. We've just pulled into the site of the Changiwai disaster. It's a beautiful spot, but unfortunately known for the events of Christmas Eve, 1953, when a laha from the crater lake, Mount Ruapehu, came down the Fungaho River and washed out the rail bridge just as the express train from Wellington to Auckland was coming along the tracks. A passerby, Cyril Ellis, ran along the tracks with his torch trying to stop the train. 
and it's thought that the driver uh, may have seen Alice or may have seen the state of the bridge and did engage the emergency brake on the engine. Uh, the fireman shut off the oil to the fire but unfortunately the train engine couldn't stop in time and the engine and five carriages plunged off the bridge and into the river. The sixth carriage was left teetering on the edge of the bridge over the river and Alice and the guard William Inglis boarded the carriage and tried to get people out. Uh, while they were doing this the sixth carriage also fell into the river but with the help of another man on board, they managed to kick out a window and got everybody out of the carriage by one person. There's some great storyboards here that tell the tale of that night. Um, the unfortunate tragedy and also the tales of survival. It's a beautiful spot here by the river, so if you're coming past, make sure you call in and check it out. Welcome to Ohakuni, the carrot country. <laughs> Not only is there a big carrot, but there's a whole park full. Along with carrots, apparently Ahokuni is also rich in soil for potatoes, parsnips, swedes and brussels sprouts. And fun fact, Sean loves brussels sprouts, I hate them.
go for a drive up to the top of Mount Rupavia as far as you can get on the road. Getting into the clouds now. mountain but this is all we can see. Fortunately we didn't come up out of the clouds. That's it. This is our little box for the night. We just had a great dinner. Um, Ford had lots of steak and crab and corn and panadas. I had a pizza. Uh, perfect way to end a great day. So I think we're going to end our vlog here. 
Uh, the weather forecast for tomorrow is not really great. Um, the weather's moving in around midnight and it's going to rain, so um, I don't think we'll get much tomorrow. So we'll end it here and we'll see you next time. Remember to push that subscribe button and the like button and we'll be back with you shortly. We need to get a whole lot better at that. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah, just twisted my ankle a bit. <coughs> I'm on my phone, but I think it'll be right. <laughs> Everything works. <laughs> Made it to Wairu, the um, <laughs> National <laughs> Army Museum. Awakuni is having its Māori grower, so there might be some interesting sights as we go through Awakuni. To be fair, there's always kind of interesting sights, sights in Awakuni. <laughs> Carrot. It's a custard. Oh.